Hi, welcome back first graders to English Online. Um, today is Monday, April 13th. I hope that everybody had a good long weekend. We had an extra day off, that was nice. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. So uh, we are going to be starting a new lesson this week. We are starting lesson 17. And in fact, this week, we're going to do two lessons. We're going to do 17 and 18 um, because you guys can handle it. And I want to get through this so we can get to some of the harder things and more writing, your favorite. So um, I did want to let you know before we really get started that I have attached these, they are your new um, sight words and spelling words of the week. These are the flashcards that I used to laminate and cut and give to you. I didn't laminate or cut these yet, but I, I will. Um, so please, I've attached these. You do not have to print them. Print them, ask your parents, first of all, it's not up to you or up to me if you print them out because everybody is trying to save ink these days since we can't really get to the store. Um, so if you are one of my students that does use the flashcards, some of you do, I want you to be able to have them if your parents say it's okay to print them. If you don't use them, don't waste the ink, but if they help, ask your parents, all right? So without further ado, let's get to the new lesson. All right, everybody, so let's begin lesson 17 and find out what our new phonics, spelling, and sight words are of the week. So what do you think the phonics will be? So far we have done um, the long sound of the letter A, I, O, and U, and we are missing and going to do this week the long sound of the letter E. So let's start with the short sound of E just to, to remember what we're talking about. The short sound of E sounds like E, E, right? Like hen, web, sled, nest, red, and elephant. Eh. Now, if we change it to the long sound of E, it sounds like the name of the letter, just like E. So we can make that sound just using simply the letter E. We have B, as in like, I want to be an astronaut or I do not want to be an astronaut. He, me, she, and we. All right, now the long E we can make, like we said, just using the um, the letter E, or there are many ways we can do it. I think there are like six different ways, possibly seven. So we can use a double E, meaning two E's, as in these words, B. Now this is the other B. The first B was I want to be an astronaut, or I do not want to be an astronaut, and that has one E. When we are talking about a B like a bumblebee, or the the flying insect, it has two E's. So we have B, tree, week, sea, teeth, and wheel. Now three, one, two, yes, three of those up there are hom um, homonyms, right? Or these are actually homophones. A homophone is a type of homonym, which means that the two words sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they mean different things. So we have B, meaning I wanna be an astronaut, or the bumblebee, which we discussed. We also have week. This week means there are seven days in a week, right? Or 52 weeks in a year. Did you know that? Um, so that's the second one. And the third one is C. This C, I see you, is S-E-E. -E. The C, like um, another word, a synonym for ocean is S-E-E. A. So we have to be careful that we know which ones we're talking about. This C means I see you. Okay, next way that we can form the long E sound is E-A, as in peach, eat, clean, leave, read, and treat. The next one is E consonant E, right? We remember that that little line here means consonant, E consonant E. So we have here, Eve, these, here, Pete, and complete. Okay, now we have um, IE. IE can make the long E sound as in cookie, piece, thief, field, chief, and believe. And the only one that I believe we have up here that is a 
Um, a homophone is peace. This peace right here, P-I-E-C-E, -E, peace means um, a part of something, right? Like, oh, I want a piece of the pie. Um, the other piece, like, um, I want peace in the world. That piece is P-E-A-C-E. -E. So this piece, try to think about it. You actually see the word pie in there. P-I-E is pie. I want a piece of the pie. That piece is a slice or a part of something. Okay, then we have E-Y as in monkey, key, honey, money, and chimney. Okay, and then we can also just use the Y to make the long E sound at the end of words like baby, belly, candy, happy, army, and memory. Okay, spelling words of the week. We'll go through them quickly. They all have, of course, the long E sound. We have me, B, read, feet, tree, keep, eat, mean, sea, and this sea is the ocean, these, straight, and please. Okay. Now let's look at our high frequency words. Okay, so number one, let's read these together. There are many ways to travel safely. There is our word. Now remember this there means um, there are or way over there, or I've left my boots right there. Okay, number two is by. Wear a helmet when traveling by bike. Number three, sure. Be sure to buckle your seatbelt. And this is also a homonym, right? Because there's the shore, like I'm going to go to the shore this weekend, that like the Jersey shore. That shore is S-H-O-R-E, meaning by the beach. This shore, like, yeah, sure, I'll go with you. That's um, S-U-R-E, sure. That is our high frequency word. Number four, could. You could walk to the bus with a buddy. This is tricky for people. Remember, could is spelled like would, and we did that months ago. C-O-U-L-D, don't forget the U. If you forget the U, you've got cold. Number five, don't, like, don't forget the U. Don't stand while the school bus is moving. This is a contraction, right? And it stands for do not. Do not stand while the school bus is moving or don't stand while the school bus is moving. We put them together, the do and the not. We get rid of the O and we put an apostrophe where the O was. Number six, car. A car should always stop at a stop sign. Number seven, about. These children know about bike safety. And number eight is maybe. Maybe you can help someone be safe. And that is one word. It is from may and be, but we just put them together. Maybe. Okay, so let's look at them quickly. We have about. You say them with me. Read them out loud. By. Oh, and this one, sorry, this could all, this is also a homonym. Um, or a homophone. This by is like, this book was written by Elise. This book was written by Eliana. Um, this picture was drawn by Xavier, Jaden, and Oliver. Um, the other by, like I am going to buy a new notebook is B-U-Y. Okay, number three, say it with me. Car, could, don't, I hope you're reading them, maybe, sure, there. Okay, so it is notebook time. Please take out your notebooks. All right, everybody, so we are up to our spelling notebooks, right? Please get these spelling notebooks out. Now, this week, it's going to be a little faster and easier for you. What I want you to do is, Remember, you did go to your spelling page 16 
right? That you did last week. Flip to the next blank page and skip it. Remember, you're gonna turn again. Now, what I want you to do is on, bah, on the left page, you are going to write these spelling words right down below, spelling words number 17 on the left page. You're gonna write up here in the margin, remember to write on the line itself, right? Not floating in the margin, write on the line nice and neatly, spelling words number 17, just like I have it right below, spelling words number 17. Then you are going to write all 12 words. You have enough room to skip lines. So please remember, write, write, um, you're going to start at the red line. Write nice and straight and neatly down, a straight line down, skip lines. Then when you're done writing the spelling words, which are right below me, you are going to go to the next page here. And do you remember, these, this is how we used to do this in class, our high frequency words. You didn't write them, you would cut them out and paste them into, or tape them into your notebooks. You're going to do the same thing in alphabetical order. However, I didn't used to tell you this in class. I'll tell you now, you don't have to cut the whole strip, all each strip out, okay? You can do this like this. Cut out about, by, car, and could, like one big chunk. Just cut that big rectangle out, okay? those words and then paste them in your book. Then cut out these words, don't, maybe, sure, and there, and paste them right underneath. And there you have them in alphabetical order, okay? So that's it. You guys are going to get to work on that. So please, as soon as this video is done, pause the screen so you don't have to go get your parents. Pause the screen, hit the space bar, hit the little pause button so that you can copy down your spelling words on the left page and then paste these words onto the right page, okay? Make sure you do write though, HFW number 17, right? Just like it shows you, see my arrow over here, but then you'll paste your words in. After that, you have workbook pages to do. Workbook pages, this is your workbook. Make sure it is volume two. Everything we have will be in volume two now. You are doing pages 16 through 19, which means 16, 17, 18, 19. 25 and 28, they all have to do with sight words, okay? I am going to include an extra coloring, um, a color by sight word. You don't have to do that, it is completely optional. You could do it any point during this week. If you feel like a coloring activity, it's the color by sight word, okay? That's just for a bonus. So I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Pause the screen, get to work. Bye.